On today's baseball diamonds, the ping of the aluminum bat is rivaling the crack of its wooden predecessor. The pros still use traditional wood, but outside the major leagues, the metal bat is a definite hit. Lightweight and durable, the metal bat has some definite advantages over wood. Production begins with aircraft-grade aluminum rods. These rods are sliced into short chunks called blanks. The blanks are loaded into a lathe with a computerized drill. The drill tunnels through the center of the blank as it spins. undergoes what's called impact extrusion. With 300 tons of force, a shaping tool bores into the hole in the blank, stretching it to more than twice its length and giving it the basic taper of a baseball bat. The stretched bat blanks now tumble into a big perforated drum. The drum is lowered into a tank of soapy water. As it turns, water flows through its holes, washing away any oily residue. And now, for a real heavy hitter. This forming tool delivers 400 ton punch through the center of the bat blank. The aluminum stretches around the tool to the full length and shape of a baseball bat. A technician measures the bat to confirm that it's completely straight. If it's not, she applies a little hydraulic pressure to bend it into shape. This is a critical step because even a slightly crooked bat could throw the player off his or her game. Next, the bat goes into another computerized lathe. As it spins, a blade lops off the bat's end, cutting it to size. Another tool threads the inside for the end cap. The bat is locked into a holding device and a circular saw trims the handle end. Now that the bat has been correctly sized, it's time for a vigorous sanding. This gets rid of any small defects and roughs up the surface so paint will stick to it. They use heavy duty paint because baseball bats have to stand up to a lot of abuse. The sanded bats go into a silk screen machine that applies the trademark. Then it's over to the decal department. The decals are dipped into a solution that activates the glue. Then they're stuck into place. Now it's back under the paint gun for a clear coat of polyurethane. The plastic end cap is press fit into the hollow barrel. An aluminum knob slides onto the handle end and the assembly goes into an automated welding machine that fuses them together. Now for the grip. Synthetic leather is wrapped around the handle to provide a non-slip surface. And a little vinyl tape finishes the edge. From a solid little chunk of aluminum to a hollow metal baseball bat, this powerhouse is ready to hit one out of the park. <laughs>